Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add live chat functionality for your WordPress website. So let's get started. Right, so here I'm in the dashboard of my WordPress website. So let's go ahead and install a plugin to add the live chat. So we'll go over here to plugins and click on add new. And just search for talk to with T-A-W-K and you'll find this plugin called talk.2 live chat so it is by talk2 and we can see that it has more than 200,000 active installations and it also has a pretty good star rating so let's go ahead and click on install now and let's click on activate and the plugin has been activated so if you go over here to settings here you can find the plugin talk to so let's click on that now here you can see the settings of the plugin now you have to create an account on talk to to use this service so let's go to the website talk.2 and uh, we can see that it is free to create an account so let's click on sign up for free and i'll just create an account and the account has been created so here we can see that it says we have to select the language so you can select any language from here I'll just select English and we'll click on next create property and then here we can see we have the option of adding the site name the site URL and the widget name so the site URL is gonna be the URL of our site so let's go ahead and visit site so this is the URL of my site so I'll just copy this and paste it over here and uh, for the site name I'll just type live blogger and for the widget name I'll just type live chat and let's click on next and here we have the option of adding new team members for attending the live chat so you can go ahead and add the email ID over here and select the role and then click on next now here are some instructions on installing this on our website but here we can see that it says if you have a WordPress website then you can just simply use the plugin and then sign into our account. So I'll just click on done. So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard and uh, let's sign into our account. And once you sign into your account we can see the option of selecting the property. So let's click on this drop down and here we can see the property that we had created when we set up the account so let's click on that and here we have the widget that we created which is called live chat so let's click on use selected widget and here we can see that the widget has been successfully added to our website and there are some other options over here like visibility options so here we can set it to be shown on every web page if you want or you can even exclude specific URLs so if I click on this we can enter all the URLs where we don't want this live chat to be displayed or if you want it to be displayed only on specific pages you can just deselect this and uh, just select any of these from here or you can just include specific URLs from here I'll just leave it as add it to every page so let's go ahead and click on save changes and let's go over here to our website and let's refresh our page and here we have the option of live chat which says we are here and if I click on this we have this window over here where we can chat with the customer support of our website so here let's go ahead and uh, just type hello and uh, let's press enter and here we can see that we have this incoming call over here so let's go over here and uh, click on this and here we can see the message of the user so here we just sent hello and it is being displayed over here and the username of this is from this over here we have logged in as admin so it is showing admin as the username over here so now to attend this call you have to select one of these from here so I'll just select live blogger and click on join now the customer support has joined the call so let's write something over here hi how may I help you and let's press enter and if you go back to our website we can see it says one message and here the message is being displayed so in this way your visitors can chat with the customer support of your website let's type something more over here 
I want to create a website and if you go back over here the message is being displayed over here I want to create a website and we can reply back from here so we also have the option of adding these emojis over here so if you want you can send emojis and uh, then we also have the option of sending a like or a dislike regarding the conversation with the customer support and then the visitor also has the option of attaching some files so let's go ahead and upload a file so I just opened up this random folder from here so I'll just select this image and send it as an attachment so I'll just click on open and we can see that the image has been sent to the customer support so let's go back to our dashboard in talk to and the image is being displayed over here now we can go ahead and click on that and the image will be displayed over here so in this way the visitor can chat with the customer support of your website now all the messages of the visitor will be displayed over here but it also displays some other information like the pages that the visitor is visiting right now so let's go ahead and visit a new page so we'll just go to this post over here how to design a website so I'll just click on this and let's go back over here to talk to and here we can see it says visitor navigated to how to design a website so in this way whenever the chat is on whatever the visitor does on the website will be displayed over here in the admin in the customer support now in the same way if some other visitor uses the live chat then one more call will be displayed over here in the monitoring section so let me just open this website in an incognito window So let's go ahead and start chatting. So I'll just click on this and uh, let's type Hi, I need some help. Now let's go back to our uh, dashboard over here and here we can see it says we have a new incoming call. So let's go over here and uh, let's click on this and we can see one chat is being displayed over here and the other chat is being displayed over here on the right so here we can see it says hi I need some help so let's go ahead and join the chat so I'll just type something over here and let's go back to the website and here we can see the reply is being displayed over here so in this way we can let the visitors chat with the customer service of our website now here we have some options over here on the chat window so we can change our name over here so I'll just change it to John so now if you go back to talk to here we can see it says John and then we have the option of emailing the transcript so all the chat that we had over here will be emailed and then we have the option of turning the sound on or off and then we have the option of popping out this widget so if I click on this it will be a new window and you can chat from here and uh, then we have the option of ending the chat so I'll just click on this uh, rate this conversation button over here and uh, let's close the chat so I'll just click on end this chat session and here we have to confirm so I'll just click on end chat let's go back to talk to and here we can see all the notification is being displayed over here the visitor has liked the conversation the visitor has ended the chat and visitor has minimized the chat window so let's close this and uh, let's close this as well now if you have a website with live chat then you have to assign someone to be attending the call always or you have to sit there attending the call always now if no one is available to chat in the website then you can go over here and uh, click on this uh, profile icon and then over here instead of online you can select invisible so I'll just click on invisible over here now you can see that it doesn't show as online so let's go back to our website and uh, let's click on this chat icon and now here you can see we don't have the option of chatting it says send a message so you can enter your name email id and message so i'll just type something over here and just click on submit now if you go back over here to talk to and uh, let's go over here to messaging now here we can see the message that we had so let's click on this and we have all the information over here the link where the message was submitted from and the name the email id and the message now you can just go ahead and close this message or you can just convert this to a ticket i'll just close this 
So in this way, if you're not online, then you can go ahead and change this to invisible and then the visitor can send a message directly. Now let's go over here to the settings of talk to and uh, let's see what are the settings that we can change. So I'll just click on this button called administration and uh, here we can change the property name and we can add an image over here. So just click on upload image from here and uh, then we have the property status and uh, the URL and all of this. You can go ahead and change all of this and then we have the option of uh, editing the chat widget. So if I click on this and here you can click on add widget and create a new widget if you want. And then we have the name of the widget and the widget status and all of these over here. You can change the color if you want or you can just click on advanced. And here are all the different options. You can select any of these from here and you can set the position of the widget. So right now it is set to the bottom right. You can set it to anywhere you want. And then you can set the height and the width and you can also set the border radius over here and we have all these options over here you can even change the colors of each of these elements so you can just go ahead and customize all of these to your needs so i just cancel it and then we can change the widget language from here and the time zone and all of these things over here and then we have some more options over here to change the widget behavior so you can go ahead and check all of these out and then what should happen when you click on the widget we can set out pop out or maximize whichever you want and then you can also add more members over here by clicking on property members here you have to click on invite member and then enter the email id and select admin or agent and then click on send invitation and in this way you can add them as a member and they'll be able to chat with the visitors of your website. And there's one more option that can be important for you which is triggers. So here you can add triggers to your live chat. So right now we already have a trigger for the welcome message. So let's click on that. And here you can see it has a delay of 30 seconds and after 30 seconds on the live chat, the visitor will have this message on their screen. So in this way you can add triggers to your live chat. So that's pretty much how you add a live chat to your WordPress website. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.